Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days. I'm in the high tunnel with the white shade cloth. It is about 75 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is about April the 29th, I think. Maybe the 30th. I don't know which day it is. But everything is looking luscious in here. It is just amazing. So our onions are blooming. Our onion chives, I must say. And I'm really excited about that because they sat in Danny's greenhouse all last year. And I moved them this spring and they just took off. It's been amazing. Danny hasn't gotten all of his onions, but look at the size of this thing. I mean, they're growing pretty good. The kale. Oh my. We just have kale. It's going to be awesome. These are the Market More cucumbers from Haas Tools. You can see they are growing like crazy, blooming. And I have little cucumbers under there everywhere starting to pop in and I'm excited. My first cucumbers this year in my high tunnel. This is the yellow Cherokee wax beans. And y'all look, sunflowers. Hey, sunflower challenge. No, I'm sorry. Y'all wait. This year it is the pumpkin challenge. But look at my sunflowers. I've got one here one here and one here that come up volunteer from last year because this is where we had them planted outside we didn't have this high tunnel last year and wanda's little bitty hoss tool sunflowers that shouldn't get very four to six feet got over 12 feet tall hey the challenge was awesome this year we're doing a pumpkin challenge check out four kids and a farm they have the pumpkin challenge uh information on theirs Guys, watch out. I got pumpkins planted too. And not the Cherokee tan. We've got the mammoth gold. These Cherokee yellow wax beans, I've done picked all the way down to here. And look at this. I canned eight pints of beans yesterday out of this greenhouse. Isn't that awesome? And look in here. Y'all see that? These things are amazing. I love them. Uh, all these down here I've got to pick. But you see in there? Tell me. That is absolutely amazing to grow beans in a high tunnel like this. They produced in the fall like this. And they're producing now. We love them. Alright. So I missed the down there. We'll come back to that in a minute. This is my Cherokee Long Eagle Popcorn, y'all. It is almost up to here. Uh, this is a, I think, four foot. So, three and a half foot tall right here with my popcorn. Let me back off and show you. I've got a field of corn in my greenhouse or high tunnel, whatever you want to call it. It is amazing. This is just absolutely wonderful. Then I've got the mullein Miss Slippy sent me. It is taking off, doing well. And these are the Algonquin beans. Uh, the insects just love them. I'm having a hard time keeping the insects off of them. I've used neem oil, but I'm going to have to use it on a regular basis to manage to, to get these to survive. All right, Danny's been planting my greenhouse. He took the peppercorn out of the pot that it was in with all the um, petunias because see the petunias are going crazy he left the petunias in the pot but he took the peppercorn out uh, hoping that it will take root and do good here instead of in the pot we were trying it because we didn't know we wanted to keep it you know in case we had to move it but it did really well so then this corner is still my aloes some um Egyptian walking onions, flowers, airplane plant, everything staying in this corner. Um, it's looking great. Danny's little transplants here. He's got some okra that's going out today. He's got some peppers that aren't looking too well. He never did get them planted. Got to work on that today. Egyptian walking onions falling over, going everywhere. The kale, Miss Lippy from Gemini Homestead did a number on it. I broke the tops out. Look, it's, I've got kale. Still, it's going crazy. It's amazing. Um, 
again with some of the squash we've done harvested squash we've had two or three meals off this squash um, you can see in there there's small ones still everywhere but we've been harvesting these are the purple the royal burgundies you can see them in here look in here everywhere i put up two jars of these we've eaten out of these two or three times and so i'll pick these again in a few minutes but isn't that gorgeous i mean just simply fantastic in a greenhouse another one of danny's uh squash plants you can see the baby squash in there it's just everywhere i've got royal burgundy all mixed in with it and then this is one of our cherokee purple tomatoes it is blooming i don't know if we have any baby tomatoes yet uh, danny comes through and checks yeah i see some little ones trying to form so not long this bean i planted and it came up late not sure exactly what it is but these beans when they start to dry turn a pinkish color and then i guess they'll turn dark after they totally dry i'm gonna let some of these dry i'm not gonna pick them but i picked a few the other day but you see how big they're getting and of course i don't remember what i planted so we're gonna just let them go and see here's one that's almost i want to say maybe anasazi's but we couldn't remember we'll see i'll have to check my beans when these dry and see what we've got going the geranium i keep pinching the tops out it keeps blooming keeps doing amazing danny has harvested a lot of the onions on this side and he's hanging them up here letting them dry somewhat during the day you see all his amazing onions different sizes isn't that awesome so we're using this as a drying rack um y'all i'm gonna tell you it gets pretty warm in here so i think it's gonna be okay we'll move them probably in a day or two but look these are more of the cherokee purple tomatoes blooms everywhere i'm talking all over the place so i think we're gonna have lots of uh, nice tomatoes before it's over with and here's the other uh, peppercorn he took it out of the pot put it here we're gonna see it looks like it needs a little bit he was gonna fertilize it good in the pots it wasn't doing as well and see if he can't bring the color back to it and get it going a flower i don't even remember what i planted but it's there so you can see the corn on this side and the tomatoes on this side isn't that awesome and he's got a few onions down this side he has it pulled but i mean absolutely amazing this is april the end of april to have all this going and most of the time we would just be getting it up out of the ground a couple of inches my house plants are hanging in there i'm just this one's fixing to bloom i mean i think it's pretty cool this is my cherokee tan pumpkin danny wasn't sure he wanted me to plant one of these in here because he said it's going to take over the greenhouse and it's starting i mean this one's running this way but look at this all in here it runs up here goes over here it's all ready to right here that is all right this is an eight foot panel so you're looking at about six foot this way coming through isn't that amazing cherokee tan growing in here with the tomatoes <laughs> i think it's awesome so i've got a cherokee tan here my pretty flowers here this is the cherokee trail of tears beans y'all i've got three of them planted here look at them blooming all over look at the beans y'all i have beans isn't that amazing these things will probably cover we've got the squash down below so i've got the pumpkin squash beans and corn cherokee trail of tears beans here i just think it's amazing and danny's squash plants trying to keep the leaves from just getting broke y'all i'm excited my cherokee garden 
is looking amazing. It might not be the Three Sisters original like most people do, but pumpkins, squash, beans, and corn, tomatoes, more beans on the outside, cucumbers. Y'all, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, my cucumbers and kale. What do you think? All my Cherokee plants are looking good. Bonus sunflowers. I mean, what more could you ask? It's, it's awesome. I am loving this high tunnel. And like I said, 75 degrees first thing this morning. The vents and the sides and all have been open all night. No fans going. We'll check it about 10 to see how hot it gets. We may have to turn fans on because it's starting to warm up. Um, I'm amazed. I love my white shade cloth high tunnel but it seems to get a little bit five to ten degrees warmer than danny's black so right now the plants are doing good let's see what happens uh, possibly the next week or two we get a little warmer so i hope you enjoyed my cherokee garden update in my high tunnel greenhouse and we're going to be eating more eating more beans i'm going to be picking the rest of them i'm going to be canning you guys stay tuned. See how this turns out. So far, it is paying for itself. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.